At a time when the nation's economy is bedeviled by high inflation rate and the impact of financial inclusion and other dynamics, there is need for deposit money banks to harness innovate ways to market financial services in the country. This was the main aim at the second edition of the National Stakeholders Conference of the Association of Corporate Affairs Managers of Bankers. Justin Akadonye tells us more in this report. It refers to something that is characterized by constant change progression or activity. Digital technologies have reshaped payments, lending, insurance and wealth management, a process that COVID-19 pandemic accelerated. While this is making financial services in many economies more diverse, competitive, efficient and inclusive, it may also increase concentration in markets. It is on this note that the Association of Corporate Affairs Managers of Banks, ACAMB, has themed its second National Stakeholders Conference on marketing financial services in dynamic times. Most people trust technology, education, healthcare, manufacturing. At this year's conference, the interactive sessions focus on financial literacy and how inclusion can be deepened among key other issues. Because definitely, when these fake um, services come on board, they get some people out of the market. So we just lay to the table and we, we really talk to them and this is the reality of things. Akam President Rashid Bolarinwa believes that in dynamic times such as this, marketing communications plays an even greater role in the long-term viability and sustainable growth of financial institutions. In his presentation, the keynote speaker, Yomi Badejo Okunsoya, harps on why banks should tailor products to suit what their customers actually need, as opposed to what they think they need. People don't have money, disposable income in their pockets. How do they save? How do they have, uh, pay for their premium insurance? How would they operate? We see the challenges that is happening, the fintechs and the rest including the challenges that come alongside with it. So we needed to bring together an A-list, you know, of an array of a panelists and a guest speaker to come and navigate these challenging waters. Financial products must be designed with the customer in mind. Uh, what we have nowadays is that, what we've had before, is that we seem to uh, look, we feel this is what is right, what we should do, uh, but we're also urging that financial institutions must invest a lot more in research, in service, uh, and then finally they must build trust. While well, Okunsoya explains that there is a trust gap between deposit money banks and their customers that must be addressed, the Yakem president believes that it is no longer enough for banks to offer innovative products and services as these have become baseline in a highly competitive and consumer-driven market. You, you saw recently how the position that the, the regulator put there that you must even have your social media handles. I, I, that was the only aspect that interested, you know, the, those who discuss in the social media space. KYC is extremely important and uh, the banks don't joke with this. You see how, because there are spot checks that the regulator normally do across all the banks. So you must know your customers. When they ask for all these details, there are also those who do background checks. You heard in the survey, the farmers saying, we don't think the banks care about us. Meanwhile, we have, all the banks have a Greek desk. So what is happening? That means the communication is not complete. Because if it is complete, they will understand that the banks already have made provision for their sector. The interactive session seeks to provide all participants with a technical know-how to build and maintain trust with customers throughout the service journey, while also factoring in the dictates of other key stakeholder groups. Justin Akadoni, Plus TV News, Lagos. And that's it from our business corner. Back now to News Now. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.